thought after the whole Batwoman fiasco about two weeks ago, I genuinely thought I was done with the Arrowverse drama, but Hartley Sawyer has just been fired off the flash. <laughs> this is literally just broke within about 20 minutes ago. I saw this, and I'm not going to lie, I thought at first it was just like one of them hoax posts. Same as what happened with Ruby Rose, but yeah, it's official. He's been uh, He's been fired off the flash. Now, I will say the scenario surrounding why he's been fired, I did know about this about probably two weeks ago. There was a few posts online about it, and it had been brought to my attention about this. And I saw it, and I instantly thought, oh, you know, it's a bit dodgy. It was just a question of whether the CW would pick up on it, but, you know, in the midst of the worldwide protest against, of course, racism in the wake of what happened since the incident with George Floyd, I kind of feared that this would eventually end up with him being sacked, and that is ultimately what's happened, because the CW came out with a statement. Holly Sawyer will not be returning for the seventh season of The Flash. In regards to Mr. Sawyer's posts on social media, we do not tolerate detogatory remarks that target any race, ethnicity, national origin, gender, or sexual orientation. Such remarks are, are antithetical to our values and policies, which strive and evolve to promote a safe, inclusive, and productive environment for our workforce. And as, like I say, as soon as I saw these things being brought up by these people about these old tweets that he made, I knew for a fact that this wasn't going to end well. And I mean, the article here even states some of the tweets that he's put up, which I'm not going to say because, you know, one, I don't want anything going on against this video, and two, because... I, I don't want to say those things because, you know, I don't personally agree with them at all. This throws a lot of things into question because obviously I understand completely why they have done it because, I mean, they he clearly was going for humour that just didn't work at all and it's just rather offensive. But now that they've gotten rid of him, the question now is, just like I said with uh, Ruby Rose when she left that woman, what happens to the elongated man? What happens to Ralph Dibney? Because, of course, last season... He was, you know, very integral to the whole Sue Dearborn storyline. So, I just don't know what's going to happen with that. What's going to happen with Sue? Is she going to have any relevance now that, you know, the elongated man's not going to be on the show? It's it's just such a strange, strange scenario. I mean, 2020, what? It, it's truly been a, like an absolute curveball of a year 2020 has. <laughs> it's crazy. I genuinely don't know what to say. I, I mean... I would naturally assume he's going to be written out the show. I don't think they're going to do a recast. I mean, if you can't recast Kate Kane on Batwoman, then I certainly don't think they're going to recast Ralph Dibney on The Flash. So I would just assume they're going to write out his character. But then that begs the question, because there's still elements of his character that need to be completed from, obviously, storylines that weren't finished in Season 6 because of the pandemic. So <laughs> I'm just really confused. I really don't know what to think about this. Of course, there's been other things in the past related to this, obviously. The whole Roseanne scenario, when, of course, you know, Roseanne Barr basically got completely kicked off the show and her show was cancelled because of, you know, comments that she made uh, about political leaders comparing them to an A. And then, of course, there was the whole James Gunn fiasco with a load of unfunny jokes that he made. Of course, they got him kicked off of Garden of the Galaxy Volume 3. But yeah, this is just insane. Yeah, I don't really have a lot to say about this other than, you know, what, what he said is completely unacceptable and I can understand why the CW has done this but again just like the Ruby Rose scenario I mean how are they going to write themselves around this and you know how is this going to affect the flash it's going to be really interesting but yeah uh, that's all I've got for this again just really shocked about this let me know in the comment section down below your initial thoughts on this as well how do you feel about this and probably more importantly what do you think they're going to do with Ralph on the show are they going to write him out do you reckon they're going to write Sue out as well let me know all about that down below Leave a like on the video and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll hope to see you all again for the next video. I mean, 2020, what a year.